Hey up everybody, it's Land Rover repair time again. Big Lollopy Dog's um, electric fan has stopped. Now oh, frankly, I didn't even know it ran. Um, but a short while ago, I had to change the engine ECU. And it seemed to start running after that. So I did some research online, which of course is always correct. And it turns out that the fan will come on without the aircon in an overheating situation but then it needs turning off with a nice chap with a laptop I don't know any nice chaps with a laptop so um, um, well, I've poked it with a stick and it's stiff to go around so it's probably seized up so the plan is whip it out try and get some WD-40 into it and see if we can make it go and at the very least the, it will be restricting any air going through from the normal fan so that's today's plan. We'll start by whipping these two off. Battery cover. Right. We need these three screws out. On later facelift models, it's four screws. And then the thing lifts straight out. On the early models are like this, you've got the three, and then you've got uh, to remove these pieces here. And then you do that by unscrewing a screw which is behind here, which is a proper little tinker to get to. An ordinary size screwdriver will not do, you're going to need a big one. So, I've been on eBay again, and I've got a big one. There's always something satisfying about a big tool, isn't there? Anyway, moving on. Now I'm going to now withdraw that screw. I'm going to have to put you down for a minute. Marvellous. Well, that was fun. Just found out that the uh, is attached to the bloody indicator. So, oh. Anyway. So I've undone the screw for the indicator, that's come out as well, and then this just slides out like so. And then, this is up the screw. We can get to that bit there. Well, at the very least, now you can see where the screw is. Of course, it's obviously on the other side, but screws into there. Put some grease on that before we put it back. Alright. So that means now as you'll observe this is actually broken. Um, no doubt somebody in the past but perhaps also I might have been involved. I'm going to pop these out. Yeah, just about there. That's where it is. Unfortunately, that's refusing to come out. So. tie-wrap this in the past with the loose. So I'll put those tie-wraps off. Like so. And due to the fact that it's been broken anyway, it's not a problem. So there we go, look, that's that. The extra wiring is just for my little dinky lights, don't worry about them. I'll have to disconnect that. Alright. There we have it. Mm. Now the aircon's not worked for a while. So that surprised me about the fan coming on. I only thought it came on with the aircon, which apparently it doesn't. Right, so I seem to have a screw down there. 
Screw there. Up there. Going up there. Okay. We don't want to we want to make it too easy, do we? Big port. Oh dear. Yeah, okay. Right. Well, they are actually bolts as well, so there should be a spanner on there. It's probably an 8mm. They usually are. Right, I'll crack on with that. Right, the other plan was if uh, I could get the fan to work again, replace it, then put a switch in the circuit so I could have it on as necessary in a really overheating situation. You know, perhaps we have to pop over to it a little on the other side of the Sahara. We might need some extra cooling. Anyway, that's maybe just me. Right, well, that's a fail. They're all rounded off. So it's going to have to be plan B. I have to take out the whole frame and doing that screw there. And there. And the other frame up there, look. And you take the two tie bars in, hope and get them out. Right, surprisingly, those four bolts came out reasonably well. In fact, the top two were already loose. So that just leaves a connection for the fan, which is there. There's also, I think there's a temperature sensor. There's that little ditty, ditty bit, so just need to pop that tire up off there. Thank you, Bill. Preferably without cutting through the wire. Alright. So that just leaves that bit. Yeah, just pop that one off, press that bit there. It slides out over that dimple, so that's that. And just now I have to reel this out. That should be full. I actually thought, can't get it out, but it's allowed me access to be able to get some gripping tool on there and get to the those bolts undone. So I'll do that and then we'll see where we are. Right, well that met with limited success. Anyway, I have to take that stay off there, which is uh, one of that, assist the brother of that one. And now I'm going to work on these two. One of the top ones came out, one shade off. How predictable. Right. Oh, that's interesting. That looks like oil down there. And the only reason you'd have oil down there is if the intercool is leaking. Anyway, we'll come back to that. So, this is where we stand at the moment. This is hanging by a thread that's. Uh, I can discover how to get that plug out and disconnect that and I can hit this with a large hammer if necessary. Right, sorry so far, we've got that, uh, press that bit in, push down, job's a good one. Right, this is now free. Don't have to bother with those two bolts. Now I'll leave those two as they are. No, that's, that's not going to come off there anyway, I tried. Right, here we go. So what you need to do is this. Take that little nut off. Get the actual fan off. There's not even any rust on there. Yeah? <laughs> right, simple plan is. Blast plenty in. Okay. Get to the other end, really. Put the hand back on. Right, so that's a fail. Yeah, it's still stiff. Now I've tightened the fan back on, it's worse still, so that's obviously toast. The thing is, quite like that sensor for the temperature, so I'm going to put that back 
it might be necessary for the engine anyway, which means just putting the whole thing back. Uh, this bit at the front, that's the condenser for the aircon. The um, intercooler is behind it, and then the radiator behind that. So, that would appear to be another job for the future. Like that, pull the intercooler out. That's the only reason you're going to get oil down there. Leaking intercooler. Have that once on a Vectra, a Vectra B. 2.2 it wouldn't run at all. Um, engine light kept coming on and it just behaved very badly. Putting out tons of smoke. And I took it to a chap who knew what he was doing and it turns out that the uh, intercooler was leaking. So the engine was fueling for the amount of air that should have gone in but wasn't. So bypassed the intercooler, put a hose straight through and it went like stink. It was lovely. It was just a leaking intercooler. So that's some useful advice to somebody. Well done. That's uh, everything put back. Um, disappointing, very disappointing. Uh, that's plugged in. That's plugged in, that didn't work. Um, fans plugged in, but that didn't work out. Fuse, bl fuse kept blowing, that's right. That's how I knew there was something wrong. So just put everything back is grill, just retouch my wires. Um it goes in there. So indicator and top covers. Go to it. Well, that was a fail. Can't win them all I suppose. Um, so we'll have to address that in a future um video I suppose or a future rip stuff off and get stuck in. Anyway, <laughs> hope you've learned something. I certainly have. Uh, <laughs> so, see you in a bit.